Hello, my name is Ian Kelly. I'm a Senior Director in Product Management with CA Technologies, uh, focused on CA application test and CA service virtualization. And I brought Prasad Kona here today to talk about a powerful extension that we have that allows us dr to drive data and to drive tests using Excel. Thank you very much for joining us, Prasad. Uh, thanks, Ian. I'm uh, Prasad Kona. I'm a, a Senior Services Architect for CA Technologies. Uh, I'm part of uh, the CS Services Organization supporting uh, the application delivery practice. So Prasad, with customers that you interact with in the field, you often see data in spreadsheets. And, and tell us a little bit about how we take data from spreadsheets and create data-driven virtual services. Uh, that is correct. Uh, uh, in a I think having worked with multiple customers, I've seen uh, uh, whether it is development teams, QA, and test data management teams uh, very commonly use uh, Excel to maintain their uh, uh, test data. Uh, with CA, service virtualization, uh, we uh, help provide uh, virtual services uh, for dependent systems, thereby eliminating the need to set up this complex test data across multiple dependent systems. Uh, uh, by by using uh, uh, this uh, uh, extension, we can enhance uh, the virtual services uh, by uh, yeah, complementing or even e extending uh, the way in which we can uh, use data. Okay, uh, can you see how that works. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me show uh, how this works. Um, so what you see here uh, uh, is uh, uh, a simple HTTP uh, SOAP service that is uh, deployed uh, on um, uh, on Lisa uh, Lisa VSE. Um, basically, it exposes a couple of operations with respect to you know, getting data or with respect to some accounts, and it, it uses an uh, Excel spreadsheet. Details on uh, on customers. So as you see here, uh, uh, let's pick up uh, a customer. There, each customer is uniquely identified using using a uh, uh, this column called the NAT ID, or it's or, or basically it's a customer ID. Uh, here uh, you have a simple uh, test case that. Uh, that calls uh, this SOAP service. Uh, you can see that one of the uh, arguments uh, is the the NAT ID by which we are trying to get uh, the details of the customer. And you can see here that uh, it returns the details of the customer, uh, which is Homer Simpson. You can see the uh, the address, all this data comes is coming from this uh, spreadsheet. So that's using the spreadsheet to drive the data that we're getting from the service. And then if we change that data, is it is it live? Do I need to re-import that spreadsheet or do something like that? No, you, you it's actually you can make changes to the spreadsheet uh, uh, and it will immediately affect uh, uh, the virtual service. You do not need to restart. Or uh, or start or start and stop the virtual service. Okay, so great. Let's see that. In this case, uh, let's uh, change change the name, the first name uh, of this user. I have to uh, renamed it to Homer Junior. And uh, I just saved the spreadsheet. Uh, let's execute the test case again. And uh, you can see that uh, the data in the response has uh, has been updated to reflect the changes that we made. That's great. So then within that, that's data from a single sheet. And a lot of times customers have multiple worksheets, multiple files. Can we join those or merge those in any way? Uh, yes, we can. Uh, and so the way this extension deals with uh, uh, with data is, say, for example, in an Excel spreadsheet, you can have multiple sheets. Uh, and so uh, you can consider that each sheet is kind of like a 
uh, database table. And so uh, in order to access data, we would be able to say if you can get customer dot customer ID yeah, or customer dot first name. And so the first uh, row of the sheet defines the, the names of the columns. Now, the extension also allows you to do, uh, do complex joints. You can join two tables or two sheets uh, using, uh, uh, you know, using the foreign key. For example, in this case, we have uh, a, a card table and the customer uh, table. Both of them can be joined based on uh, the customer ID. So let me okay. show, for example, uh, if we can, how to query uh, uh, data with respect to a card uh, for, for the same customer. And so if you look at uh, the customer, uh, the, the customer ID for Homer is 2. And uh, he has uh, one card or account associated uh, with him. And so I have this. Have this uh, another test case that uh, tries to uh, inquire about the account associated with the customer. And so again, it uses uh, uh, the the uh, the unique ID for each customer, which is the NAT ID. And you can see the in the response the the account details which is uh, an account number ending in 2016 here. So that lets us drive the content of the virtual service. Can we also drive the, the format of the virtual service? Let's say uh, um, uh, someone like this might have five credit cards or two credit cards. Um, so could we query Homer and show two credit cards and maybe query Lisa Simpson and show five or different addresses, things like that, to make it really alive? Uh, yes, uh, and so let's pick up uh, pick up a user uh, who has some uh, more than uh, one uh, one card. Um, so uh, we can pick up uh, this user called Lisa uh, Simpson uh, with customer ID ten, and uh, she has uh, three cards associated with her. Great. Well, that's super powerful. Um, can we also bring this over to test and, and change the data that gets driven by our test to where we could use this spreadsheet not only to inform the virtual service but to also inform the test that we're that we're using? Uh, yes, uh, this extension can uh, also be used uh, within uh, within Lisa uh, test cases, uh, and so uh, uh, it kind of uh, you can complement or provide some uh, additional functionality. Uh, in a, I mean, Lisa test already has the concept of data sets, but this can also provide this uh, additional layer by which you can uh, utilize or uh, inject data into uh, Lisa test. Yeah, so we can not only use that same spreadsheet to drive that virtual service and what it looks like, but we can also use that same spreadsheet to drive the test so we can fully match all the data conditions that we're trying to evaluate. Very good. So yeah. you, we see tons of companies with much of their data in, in spreadsheets and a lot of times it gets there either from database exports or we've seen many companies that have spreadsheets as a back end to a GUI. Um, do you know of other ways that companies are building these types of data sets and using these data sets for testing? I think it's uh, uh, the most common uh, ones we see at a lot of customers is uh, mainly you know, using spreadsheet databases or uh, XML to represent uh, some complex uh, test uh, test data uh, and so uh, these I would probably consider these as, the, as some of the more more common ones in which people have been using to maintain data well thank you very much for showing me this I think this is a great extension and provides a lot of value to a CA service virtualization user and a CA application test user thank you very much Prasad thank you Ian